so because I cleaned out this Pentium 4 build um, I thought I'd make a video where I show you where I put this thing back together um, you know everybody loves PC builds I cannot offer you you know a gaming rig build but um, well you might enjoy this one as well this is just a really simple slow little computer um, but believe it or not it is my LAN party computer and uh, yeah the games we play aren't really the newest whatever I will put everything in this ugly ass max data case um, the only thing that has got something to do with max data actually I'm not even sure if that's true either is the power supply because that's the only thing I um, kept uh, you know in this machine that where I you know got the case from the rest was junk I believe it had a short motherboard and I think this was you know a fault with the power supply but I mean it works just fine I've I have no trouble this is I already have this for a year or so or even longer so this never really had problems I cannot really say what power supply it is or how many watts because I haven't looked and it doesn't say it on the back but uh, I can say it's not a whole lot <laughs> Um, I think this is sort of kind of uh, 2003 ish or so and it's full of junk that we painted on so much stuff whatever I'll, I will just uh, try to get you a little higher if that is possible so that is a little better it's actually really damn high um, so yeah we'll start with the main board oh yeah one thing I like to mention as you can see this case is definitely uh, kind of built for this power supply because it had this uh, adapter thingy um, for the buttons and the LED so you know that was connected with uh, one of, not, not this one, but one of these oh I shouldn't have put that here I haven't taken apart this computer since uh, I built it and that was well I need to look back maybe it's even longer than a year probably now let's uh, put in the main board. It's not a beast. It's a uh, Asus P4P800VM with this badass cooling. <laughs> Check that out. That's just the standard 775 socket cooler with a random fan on it because I've never. I was just too cheap to buy another one because I broke the original fan. And this is actually a lot quieter too. So I mean, it keeps saying CPU error because it's kind of not recognized. I mean, it works, it turns, and it reg even regulates the speed, so I have no idea why it keeps saying CPU error in the BIOS, but it works. And uh, you think this, you know, goes like that when I uh, stand a computer upside, but actually there's so many cables in the way, they all always hold it like this easily. So, you know, it's pretty ghetto, and you should not definitely not do this, but yeah... I might get a new cooler for this one day, um, but who knows, who knows, just get all these cables out of the way here, put the main board in, and actually the IO shield on this is also a little bent, so it's always a little tricky to line up these um, ports where they belong. I think that should do it. Looks good to me. Yep, that's everything, I guess. Just needs to be holding there. And then I think it is, is alright. Yep, looks good. I already tried to kind of uh, bend it back uh, to make it um, improve with this, but uh, it kind of uh, wasn't working that way. I like to zoom in a bit so you can see something. I'm really sorry about light or so, if, or if my head is in the way, but you know, it's not always so easy working in front of a camera. Mostly in my case, because it's just the whole the feet of the tripod in the way, and then I need to let you see something too. That's just me. And I also lost my power drill, so I'm just really slow on putting in these screws. Um, when I do my best, and I'll probably cut or speed up 
good idea. You don't watch just screwing stuff in. That's rather boring. All right. So yeah, you asking why if you just clean the computer do you take the RAM out? Well, I guess it's just for coolness reasons to show you guys uh, the RAM. So it's not a badass RAM. Uh, it's uh, <laughs> DDR1. Yeah, DDR1. Here it is. This is the one gig, and here we have the 512 meg stick. One and a half gigs of RAM, guys. When did you see a one in a 512 meg stick getting upgraded? The whole YouTube video is all about you know total uh, expensive gaming PCs and you know SSDs and whatnot. 64 gigs of RAM and. God knows what else. I build here Pentium 4. And uh, it's nothing different actually. It still goes in really hard. Nothing has changed here in computers that way if it went so. I mean seriously. Oops, that was wrong. Tell me one main board where the, the RAM goes in easily. I know none. No, seriously, I don't. They all go in so, you know, tight and... Especially when you kind of take a main board out of the box, you know, like a new Asus main board, and then you put it in the RAM, you're just so afraid of, you know, putting force on it, uh, because you think you break it, but actually, no, it is. these things can take that. I mean, they're obviously built for this. So, the next thing we'll do, I'm not sure what I should put next in here, it should be the hard drives, or, well, I'll, I'll just put in here the boring stuff first, uh, the optical drive. And uh, again, you should not do it the way I do. You should secure it tightly with four screws and that on each side. Now, like I will do it just on one side for uh, laziness reasons. And uh, I don't need no shitty deep Blu ray player or what else. Oh, there's nothing else actually. But any expensive, I've got here a 15 euro. DVD burner there, right above the lol. There's the there's the screw holes, and you screw it in. And I use this DVD burner a lot, um, and it does need to move there. All right, here we go. Here we go. So again, I use that DVD burner a lot, and it works. And I don't know what company it is. Kind of forgot, let's see. And it's just the DVD ROM. What an amazing company. It's a kind of a, a Chinese one, I guess. Well, now let's connect the power. Um, this is hopefully long enough to fit this here so we can put the short one uh, here where the, to the optical drive. And we'll wire the IDE later. Now we'll connect the main board power, which is here. Uh, it goes always in really hard. Oh, it's snapped already. Good. Just making sure that you can see. Oh, you can't. Well, that's not good. That's better. So, um, CPU power. Where is this here? Connect that. There we go, snaps in. We can put this very professionally back. And as you see what I mean, this all holds that CPU cool. He's never had heating problems with this. Pentium force don't run that hot, actually. Um let's do this one here. Just connect that. Oh, guess I need that for the hard drives. Here we have one, two, okay no, I can connect it. No huge deal. This power supply has a lot of power ports, uh, so I can go nuts with them. Um, wow, that's a really hard connector there. <sighs> Hopefully that went in there. Not sure. Hopefully it works that way. Now I need to connect the power things, the controls for reset and power and um, there's actually nothing else other than the LEDs. 
uh, to the main board and that's pretty simple because we get all this and it turns out what I read is that this particular um, Mac Stata PC which was once you know ha having in a main board had one of those similar ones not the one I have here uh, but they had a also, I believe in ACUs, and they will have this adapter. Ah, uh, not adapter. They will have these same connectors. So I kind of had luck in that way. All right. Now let's uh, move on to the HDDs. And put all the cables out of the way. First, let's connect to the IDEs because once we have the hard drive cage installed, which is here, we will hardly get a access to these so we'll do that first better um it doesn't actually matter which cable i choose the blue one is the master and the black one is the slave so if you um are have never worked in ide computers if you only work with sata it's way more convenient because on IDE, you have to jumper hard drives if you have multiple ones if you have one it doesn't matter just connect it with the um, master and you're good but if you have like two three four like we built some computers in school that had uh, a total of five hard drives and you know servers just for fun uh, and it was a horrible horrible uh, just to, to chump roll those to get them working correctly because you know they have their own wheel when it comes to that now <laughs> I think this is supposed to go in the in the uh, master slot, but that doesn't matter at all. We'll connect this to the optical drive, if I get there, of course. Uh, there it goes. It's a tight fit, but it works. There it goes. And now, let's install the hard drives. Now, hard drives, I have no idea where I should put it. Put it there. I have two hard drives in this system. Uh, those are just screws. This is the primary. It's a Maxter um, Quick View, whatever, 160 gigs. And it's 7200 RPM, so that's nice. And the secondary is this. That's a Seagate Barracuda, also 7200 RPM, and it's 80 gigs. And that is the secondary. Now, I had a floppy drive in this system too, which you can see by the, well, you can't actually, but there's a knockout plug for the um, knock, knockout thingy, plate, not plug, uh, for the floppy, and uh, I took it away because I, I really never needed a floppy actually, and uh, it would just cause me to put the hard drives all, you know, on top of each other, and that would generate a lot of heat. And since I don't need a floppy, I can give the hard drive some additional uh, cooling um, by putting them, you know, one space, uh, le letting the middle one out. So, yeah. No, I just talk too much right now. I will put the first one here. That is the primary again. And I think there's uh, a little bent one there, so I need to... Make sure that it lines up. It does not. If you get it a little back, here it is. <clears throat> and I will screw them in. So we do one screw here. Man, I just love doing this with my power drill. But I do not have that right now, so it's only just the first screw that annoys me a bit always. And the second one will be this one. I have no idea if I should put in here a third one because I have one more. I mean, you need at least two hard drive screws. You can go with one, two. We did that in school and it worked. You should definitely not do it, but you can. All right. I mean, I would say that is secure. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I don't throw around the PC, so, um, that should be enough. And here's the second one, the, uh, Seagate 
Now you can say what you want. Maxerus sucks and Seagate sucks and they're all gonna die and you. I do not care. They can die anytime. They've got no important data on here. It would just... The only thing I would lose is time because I need to download all the games again. Or copy them from my backup. But uh, there's really nothing more that could happen to me there when these two drives die. So, I mean, they're old drives both. But they still uh, don't have any troubles. So, why should I, you know, upgrade them or uh, make them newer? Uh, I don't see the purpose. So, I've got one more screw. I'll give this to the primary one because I'm social. And I'm racist against secondary hard drives. So, you know. And there it is. Now let's put it in the um, computer. So I just needed to uh, clean the iPhone storage a bit and you know transfer the video I just made because it, it needs a lot of space. But we can move on now. Um, yeah, <laughs> this way it goes in hopefully. Because if not, I have to do it all over again, and that would suck. And I think I did it wrong. Ah, uh, yep. Great. Look at that. You know what I mean there? No way. <laughs> I think this is the bent side, and uh, yeah, as you can see, this is bent, and uh, the other. I I think I bent the other. Um, side just to fit maybe it does here too well it doesn't look like hey I mean, it doesn't line up perfectly with this but that worked even though this should be back there hey that, that's not so bad as I expected it to be I kind of need to force this one in because it doesn't uh, line up correctly but if I do that, uh, yeah. Ah, oh, there, now he lined up there. Good. Wow. That just saved me a whole bunch of time and embarrassment. <laughs> now, this screw back here is a little tricky, especially with a screwdriver. Uh, this doesn't go anywhere. So, now let's connect it. So again, you know what I meant with the access, there isn't a whole lot you can access with this cage in the way. Alright, now the primary is on top, so let's connect it with the primary master cable. <laughs> if I can do it, and it's wrong going this way all right not in now we're in and the second one oh gosh <laughs> you know I just hate these Big ass fat cables because they uh, they're so strong and don't move. And now if you have a, a computer out of the 90s or early 2000s, they all have these stupid IDE connectors. So well, I'm just so happy that I'm done with this crap. And as you can see, this this cooler doesn't go anywhere. All right, now of course hard drives need power as well, so let's give them power. Man, this hard drive could have needed definitely another screw there. Might find one. I think I just bent this thing here back in place. Yeah. I think at least. As you can see this case, it's just so fucked up, you don't believe that. Alrighty. Now we're set with this. Now we can put in here now the graphics card and the, the 
expansion cards. So let's just move you down there. We'll start with the graphics card, the GeForce FX 5500. I actually made a video where I um, put this in. And boy, did that start a, a discussion. Uh, I I, tr I I really appreciate guys that you try to recommend me, you know, the best graphics card for the money and which one is better and whatnot. And I might even upgrade this another time. Um, so, you know, that's cool. But, uh, kind of uh, started a, a nice discussion there. Actually, a really... Uh, Nice discussion and without fanboys and so, so that's quite cool. Um, so this is HEP, old school, but it works. And uh, here it is in. Uh, HEP is, um, I have no idea for what that stands to be honest. I have really no idea. It should definitely uh, kind of start knowing more about computers or should I <laughs> it's definitely kind of embarrassing what I say sometimes but you know AGP is the old standard I don't know when they stopped making it I guess when SATA arrived or so because you only find that in Pentium 4 machines or 3 machines the old computer shows here we have the sound card that is the Yamaha sound card and I'll put it here in the middle and why do I put the sound card next to the audio ah the blah the sound card next to the graphics card well that is because for some reason the audio card doesn't want to work in that slot but the, the firewire adapter have just works fine but not the audio card so I have no idea what the hell that is but it just does not work in the last slot, so, and I just dropped the screw in there. <laughs> Damn, that was uh, interesting there. Oh well, let's continue with the installation here. And hopefully I don't drop it a second time. Now again, this case is a piece of shit. Is a... The older expansion cards, except the graphics card for some reason, I have to bend this a little um, in there because it, it kind of kind of doesn't uh, just for a millimeter. Uh, it's too too long for the whole expansion cards. So I have no idea what the hell that is, but I have to do it. As you can see. I'm not a professional guy when it comes to this because there are probably guys out there now scream at their screen what the fuck are you doing you idiot but hey this is a uh, I don't know how much this is worth 30 bucks 40 bucks I don't know not a whole lot so I do not care if that breaks it breaks and you know that's what's so cool about learning with computers if you have a new computer and you're taking it apart, you're always so scared to break something, you know. But if you have one of those, you say, hmm, if I break something, something, who cares? It doesn't matter. Let's try it. And that's how I learned about computers, you know. Putting a computer together, and I would have never, ever done that to my main machine. But I always had some old computers around, so I learned how to do stuff and how not to do stuff like here for example but uh, I will just demonstrate you now the CPU cooler uh, it's not going anywhere and it's a little high but there it is nice in place so that is my personal amazing uh, way to lock a fan now let's plug this in and see if it still boots up why it shouldn't well, then I kind of uh, messed up the master and slave thing, which I hopefully didn't because that's a pain in the ass to get working again. Ah, darn it, I kind of pushed the uh, button on the camera too late, but here it goes. It, it works, I guess, because that's the primary hard drive starting up. I've got that plop boot manager. 
If you're asking what a day is that, well, it's a simple answer. Uh, it allows computers um, that are, you know, old to boot from USB. Now, the manufacturers could just be not assholes and, you know, roll out a BIOS update which allows it to do that, but no, they won't. So does this. Uh, the latest BIOS is flashed on here and, well, um, it does not offer it. So I have to use that third party program to boot from USB. Now, if you're asking, do you have to install that to a boot hard drive? No, you can actually burn this to a CD and boot from a CD and uh, then just uh, boot from CD, put the USB uh, stick in the USB port and uh, then choose to boot from USB and it will do it. So that saves you a lot of time and a lot of CDs and just a whole lot of uh, trouble and nerves. Because booting from USB is really convenient nowadays and you know almost every computer can do it if not all new computers so here we are everything is still the same as I left it now the mouse should be turned on of course data is the second hard drive it's here and that's the primary one the boot drive and we got into properties we got Intel Pentium 4 2.66 gigahertz and one and a half gigabytes of RAM now you all want to know that graphics card it already said it but there it goes NVIDIA GeForce FX 5500 and it does have 256 megs of RAM now that is it I hope you like that kind of build it's nothing you know special but I like it and it worked great as you can see guys so I will see you in the next video and uh, thank you for watching.